A man in Norway has been charged with killing five people and wounding three others using a bow and arrow. The incident is the worst mass killing in Norway since 2011. But here in the States, U.S. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, who has spent the majority of her first term simply trolling liberals, took to Twitter to argue that Norway's bow and arrow attack somehow proves that gun laws don't work. The logic here is just a little hard to follow, but let's deconstruct this argument point by point. Now, Bobert is right. Norway does have stricter gun laws than the United States. So if you're a citizen of Norway who wishes to own a firearm, you have to be at least 18 years of age. You have to specify a valid reason for gun ownership, and then you have to obtain a government license. As a result, homicides in Norway are incredibly rare. According to the World Bank, the 2018 intentional homicide rate in Norway was just 0.468 per 100,000 people. That's a total of 25 murders. Here in the United States, where federal law only requires a background check for some firearm purchases, and in many places, firearms are actually easier to buy than alcohol, we are currently living through the largest annual increase in murders in six decades. And that same World Bank data shows us that in 2018, we experienced a homicide rate of 4.957, or over 16,000 murders. And this comparison isn't a fluke. All credible research tells us that lax gun laws and high rates of gun ownership result in higher rates of gun violence. That's just a fact. Bobert argues in her tweet that Norway still suffers from mass killings despite strict laws. But when you compare the casualties in this bow and arrow incident to a mass shooting like Las Vegas, where one man killed 60 people without even leaving his hotel room, the differences couldn't be more clear. As any legislator should know, no law will completely eliminate all wrongdoing. We have speed limits, but people still speed. We have laws against insider trading, but people still commit financial fraud. Norway's strict laws can't stop 100% of murders, but by making firearms harder to get, they've saved countless lives. Now, the Congresswoman and I do agree on one thing. It is the criminal who commits the act, not the weapon itself that's responsible. And if that's the case, then why is she so intent on making it easier for a would-be criminal to obtain the weapons they need to carry out that crime?